one thing I will say is not so, not so much about the winner, it's how the loser's going to react because, you know, they've been here from the get-go and they've played a lot of pool, Michael, and the loser's got to do it all over again. Rack number one. Mr. Ocean the first two of those matches between them were both on Monday, and Ocean won them both. Fyan has won all four since. So on paper, Niels is the favourite. First chance goes to Albin with a good break. This is all about the cue ball. It's a, it's a thin pot and it's a long pot the two ball is down the bottom end of the table so the cue ball will automatically come back down it's just judging the pace and the line in the first two groups neither of the players who finished top of the table in those actually went on to win the group David Alcady broke the trend last night. Albert Ocean is looking to continue it this evening. That is to continue the new trend, as it were, and become the second player in a row to go on from finishing top of the table to claiming a winner's group spot. But that isn't going to help. So Albin makes the first mistake in this final. Misjudged the line of the shot. In some ways he was lucky the eight ball was there because, well, maybe he would have scratched, maybe he wouldn't have. So now I think he's kicking at this ball. Could try and slide him while well, he's hitting it hard, so there goes my theory. Trying to make something happen. He's not left Niels a pot, but he will be in trouble after this shot. I think Niels can just jam Albin up behind the nine ball. It's the fourth group, but it's the first time that the players who finished first and second in the table have actually both won their semi finals and as a result gone on to meet in the group final. Attention, please. Very attacking shot from Niels there. Nice bank. Draws the cue ball round for the three ball. This will hurt Albin if Niels can run these remaining five balls. Would you believe this is the 30th match that Niels Fine has played already in this tournament? He's been so consistent, been in the semi finals all four nights was beaten at that stage on Monday and Tuesday first by Ocean then by Eklund Catchy last night he overcame Ocean in the semi-final to go one better by getting to the final but then lost 5-2 to David Alcady and here he is in the final again Niels Fyatt has looked very sharp this evening. And it's a positive start for him to the Group 4 final. He leads Alban Ocean by one rack to nil. 
Just looking back on the semis and indeed the evening as a whole, Carl, do you feel the break that we had in play of an hour or so didn't really help Noyuki Oi because he had so much momentum, so much intensity. Then he came out for the evening. He'd already clinched his semi-final place, but he didn't look anything like the same player. Yeah, I think the thing what I've spotted is, you know, you can you can sort of go on one in the group and you can get in the position of where well, you know you've qualified for the semi-finals and well, maybe take your foot off the pedal a little bit, but that just gets you into the semis, doesn't it? It's not job done. Even though you think you've had a successful day, it can you know it's turned out to be not so successful for Nuki really, is it? He's got to come back tomorrow and do it all again and you know, the longer these days go on, you might find yourself in a position that Albin and Neil's in where they've been here right, for two. four days and favor, Mr. Fine. Fine. you've just gotta try and grasp your opportunity. Hopefully you get to the final and hopefully you get a chance to win that last rack once you get there. Yeah, Oi was absolutely irresistible early on today, winning those first four matches and winning 20 racks, only losing four. He'd only lost one rack in his first three matches, but I guess trying to maintain that standard all through the day across eight matches yeah. is a big ask. So maybe the more likely path to winning the group is to start off reasonably well and just build from there, find your best at the end of the day. Fine then, 1-0 up with the break. But what's he got here, Carl? I presume he can see the potting angle. Can't really tell from this camera angle. Yes, he does see the potting angle, so he's got a chance. Plays a good shot, plays for the two in the same pocket. Then he'll play a three onto the green combination. Another good chance here. Niels Fyant is a former world champion. He actually beat Alban Ocean to win the title seven years ago now. He's 44 years of age. He's also won the World Straight Pool Championship and twice been in the final of the World 8 Ball. Lost on both occasions, though. And he's still winning reasonable sized tournaments. The last of those was the Las Vegas Open against Mishko Fortunski back in the summer of 2019. And he was going well before COVID struck last year. He'd been runner up to Fedor Gorst in Athens in January, third in Ostend the following month. But like so many other players, he was stopped in his tracks by the suspension of tournament action. Yeah, nice cue ball there from Niels. That pretty much kind of guarantees this rack is over. Can just play a nice natural shot off one rail for the eight in the right side pocket. And he has put Albin Ocean under a little bit of early pressure in this final. Well, what a fine start this is. And with a break and run, Fyan has doubled his early advantage. He leads Alban Ocean in the Group 4 final, 2-0. Mark Beisterbosch will be joining us tomorrow. He's one of the two players coming in, along with Roberto Gomez. And Beisterbosch teamed up with Niels Fyan for the last staging of the World Cup at the Morningside Arena in Leicester back in 2019. They got to the semi-finals. They beat the top seeds China along the way and lost 9-6 to the Philippines in the last four. Fine has such a history in the World Cup. Seems to be something about the Netherlands and World Cup finals. Famously, they've been in three in football and not won any of them. And it's much the same in pool. They're the only country to have been in more than one World Cup final without ever winning it. They got to the 2013 final, lost 10-8 to the Philippines, and we're in the final again the following year. Fine playing with Nick Vandenberg both of those times. 
and they were beaten 10-9 by an England team consisting of Darren Appleton and Mr. Carl Boyce. So we could have three, World Cup partners zero. playing against each other tomorrow. Fine, we'll hope to avoid that. He wants to be in the winner's group by then, and he's 2-0 up as Ocean breaks in the third. Wonderful break off there, controls the cue ball. Unfortunately, it got kicked, but it's not the end of the world. You can still see the one, he's still got a pot on. His next ball after the one is going to be the red three ball. And I think he's got to judge a nifty little cannon off the nine. Just get the sense of feeling, Michael, that whoever loses this final, I think if it is Albin, it's going to affect him more than Niels. I think Niels can, he's got that bounce back ability. He will come out still firing on all cylinders tomorrow. As we're at Albin after day one, fair enough today, he's booked his ideas up a little bit, but. Well, I mentioned this is Fine's 30th match in the tournament. Ocean's seen a lot of action, though, as well. It's his 29th. Big shot here. So he trusted to look a little bit. And it didn't pay off, so he's faced with a bank into the bottom right corner. Or he could choose to play safe and get the cue ball behind the pink four. Alvin's played safe. He needs this cue ball to stop because he's played this really poor. The cue ball was supposed to go off the top rail and then in behind the pink. So it's a miss hit and it's a small chance for Niels Fyon. Yeah, said the shot from Ocean a few moments ago was Definitely. a big one. This is potentially even bigger. And you can see the way he's psyching himself up for it. If he can get in here for 3-0 and then have the break in the fourth, he can really take a firm grip on this final. Just needs to be careful with the cue ball. Oh, it's a good pot. And look at the pace he played it. He put all his eggs in one basket played it the correct way if it goes in he can win the rack and if he missed it well he just took that on the chin so well played Niels good shot and it certainly looks like this match is going 3-0 but there's always a silver lining if Niels goes on to win this well at least Albion won't have to play him again might have to play his sister though Jasmine Ocean is coming in on Sunday, and if Ocean loses this, he's in again tomorrow, and if he doesn't get through and doesn't get relegated in either of the next two groups, then it will be Ocean's together. Fyan is flying. The Dutchman off to a great start, leading by three racks to nil in the Group 4 final. He's already just two away from a place in the winner's group. Don't go away.
Sporting events should not be held until there are no new cases. Well, that's right up there with the heat. No crowd, but who needs them? Just in terms of pure talking ability, he's just one of the best we've ever seen. Oh, my word. Incredible. What a, a power-packed partnership it is. Stop the engraving process. A dream start to the Group 4 final here in Milton Keynes for Dutchman Niels Feyen. He leads Alban Ocean of Austria by three racks to nil. He needs just two more to clinch a place in the winner's group, and he's got the break in rack four. What can Ocean do to turn this around, Carl? You've got to be patient and just wait for your chances. That is all you can do. Pool's a funny old game. It's not like... You know, the sports where you're guaranteed an opportunity. This is just the nature of pool. We've all been there. We've all been in Albin's shoes and we've all been in Niels' shoes. So he's just got to play a waiting game, really. That's and obviously four, Niels is breaking. Four, three to zero, so he's just got to pray he gets Fine. to the table in this rack. Oh, Niels has hit them absolutely shocking. He hit the top of the cue ball and it looked like he was going to scratch in the bottom right. Let's have another look at this. Watch the cue ball. See how it arcs forward and it was going towards that corner. Might not have gone in. He got kissed away and he's still at the table. Ran out the last time he had the break. Didn't really have the opportunity to do it this time, but he's played a fine safety. Alban Ocean is, like Fyne, a former World Nine Ball champion. After losing to the Dutchman in that 2014 final, he went on to win the title two years later. Attention, please comfortably beating Shane Van Bonin in the final, 13 racks to six. Just needs to hit this. If he hits it on the top side, he will get distance. It's a little bit too full, so he needs a little bit of luck. And luck, he hasn't got. So it's all going Niels' his way. Cash in mind, back to the first rack. Albin broke off and he had a, an opportunity and he hooked himself behind the eight. Since then, it has all been this man at the table. Four nights in a row now in the playoff stage of a group. Two semi-final defeats. A final defeat last night. He just has the look of someone who's taken the attitude. This is my turn. This is my time. This is the night that I clinch my place in the winner's group. He just could not look more focused, more dialed in.
Neil's just lost the cue ball a tiny bit there. He wanted to land on the opposite side of the seven so he could just play a little stop shot. Not too much of a problem. He'll just play this round one rail. Back out. And that's fine too. Ocean is still unable to stem the tide. Niels Fyan cruising along in this final, looking so sharp and already on the hill. He leads by four racks to nil. Well, Alvin Ocean's day started, Carl, with a defeat to Niels Fyan. He's had six wins in a row since then. But it looks fairly inevitable now. It's all going to finish just the same way it began. Yeah, it's hard to see this one turn around. I mean, it can turn around, but just the way the match has gone and how clinical Niels looks. He's got one foot in finals day, you feel. And I'm very intrigued to see how Albin responds to this tomorrow. Because, of course, he will be back on day five, where we get two brand-new players, Michael. Yeah, Roberto Gomez and Mark Beisterbosch, who I was talking about earlier. Rack number five, and it scores four to zero. Kelly Fisher, Fair the player we lost today five. after she lost all of her matches. So there's the Albion Ocean break. Cue ball gets kicked around the table. So work to be done for Albin. Needs to win the remaining five racks. So he plays safe and Looks like a good safety shot. Okay. Neil's always looks so positive when he's at the table, striding round. Yeah, he seems like a generally very positive person who tries to get the most out of his game and out of life. Oh, but he hasn't got the best out of that shot. Now, could this be the start of some sort of recovery? Yeah, he probably hit it a little bit too hard. Might have even got a double kissed, couldn't quite tell. Was that an easy shot? Very easy to make a mistake there. Yeah, Niels, two children, two daughters, his wife, Katrine, very good pool player herself. Yeah, lives in Denmark now. Does a bit of the DJing, as we discussed, makes his own music.
all Albion Ocean can do is just run these balls out, get his first rack on the board and just hope he gets a shot on the Neil's fire and break. Well, that's the thing. It's what makes it so hard in this game to come back from a big deficit when you've got the alternate break format. Worst case scenario for Fine. He's got two more goes to win a, bra uh, win a rack on his own break to clinch this. Oh, but can you believe he's missed that? And is that going to be his last shot in this final? Yeah, such a shame. Shouldn't be missing these. This is just, you know, I think just the last couple of days he's not been queuing as good as he can. And that told right there. So Niels has got these five remaining balls to book his place on finals day. And looks like Alban Ocean will be back tomorrow. So will Noyuki Oi and Mishko Fortunski, the beaten semi finalists, along with Christina to catch. And Billy Thorpe, who finished in fifth and sixth places. Mark Beisterbosch and Roberto Gomez will come in to complete the group. Ocean will get $2,000, moving them on to 5,950 in total so far. 4,000 for Fion, bringing his total winnings to 8,500. And a guaranteed minimum of another 1,000, which is what you get even if you finish bottom in the winners group. Niels Fyant is known as the Terminator. Oh. And the message from him tonight is, I'll be back. Because the Dutchman will return on Monday for the winner's group, looking to produce a sequel on Judgment Day. Winner of Group 4, will he do it again and become the overall champion? On this form, why not? A stunning result. Niels Fyant beats Albin Ocean by five racks to nil. Well, if you keep knocking on the door, it won't necessarily answer for you eventually. But Niels Fyan has kept going and kept going. A couple of semi-final defeats. And then the final last night against David Alcady. And that clenched fist and the celebration we saw may be reflecting the growing frustration he was feeling. He really wants to be in that winner's group to show that he can still compete at this level Enjoy. at the age of 44. And a certain sense of relief now about the fact that he will be doing that. He's got a few days off. He can enjoy them. He'll probably come and join us in the commentary box for a few stints as well. And put in some practice. Ahead of a chance to win what would be one of the biggest titles he's won in recent times.